Compared to JFK, LaGuardia is a cakewalk. This is a guava. Look, the Empire State Building's dancing. Napa and flamenco. Like this green, if they have the green. You got that shit to my people. Four Bellinis later. Larry Tontish. Larry Bagley. I get excited about food. Now we're in Soho. Hello, bloggers. No bloggers, globetrotters. Hello Globetrotters, welcome back to the channel and to another New York City vlog. So I flew into LaGuardia Airport and it's been years since I've flown in there because lately I've just been doing Newark but I got a direct flight from Asheville to LaGuardia and it has changed. Boy has it changed. First of all, the renovations that they've done are outstanding. It's amazing. It's so calm. It's so peaceful. Compared to JFK, LaGuardia is a cakewalk. JFK feels like a zoo. This feels peaceful, serene. Look at the water views. Look how on a Friday afternoon for a holiday weekend, it is just so calm. Can you believe that? And not even a lot of people at the carousels to get their check bags on a Friday afternoon again. And it was easy for me to get my Uber and head out of town. The absolute highlight of my Friday was a comedy show where I got to catch up with my oldest goddaughter and hang out with some friends. You know what? This is a little more. This is a little more. Find out something good if you know. And then afterwards, some friends and I went to a rooftop party where there were some artists, some soca artists performing. The absolute highlight of my Saturday was seeing my cousin having brunch with her at French Louis in Brooklyn, New York. That was amazing. Food was good. Drinks, oh my gosh, top notch. And I've never tried a French 75 with cognac before. And I will be asking for that going forward because I do not like gin. Chin. Chin, baby. Chin, chin. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is so much so much better than the gin, I'm sorry. Make sure you have more than a bite. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. The pickled okra, the, the trout scramble, the creme brulee, creme brulee French toast. I'm a little nervous here. Oh, it, it, it already feels slimy. It's not bad. It's not slime. You know, it's slime. It's not a little bit, but it's not. First of all, you do know that's good for us. First things first, I'm gonna share a boozy brunch with you because of course we, we're gonna eat and we're gonna drink and I'm gonna show you in this vlog. So we went uptown to Harlem to this black owned business and the name of the business is Chocolat. It's on 125th Street.
Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like travel videos and if you like to be inspired. We're having a boozy brunch. <laughs> you, got, you got vodka at 11 o'clock in the morning. I got you. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> I get excited about food. You didn't get the red velvet pancakes? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did you get the veggie omelette? Mm -hmm. And what kind of sauce? Mm -hmm. And then potatoes. And I got the red velvet waffle and chicken. Girl. Waffle is fluffy, not crispy. You taste all the red velvet flavor. So complex, semi-sweet, not totally sweet, but it's so good. Mac and cheese, creamy, well-seasoned, nice crust on top. Chicken, crispy, well-seasoned, juicy, not dry. So far, so good, enjoying it. Bellini's on point, but it's, they're pre-made, so that's why it's not so fizzy. Four Bellini's later. <laughs> you did that? Yeah. It's my third one, sorry. I'm about to have four. Brunch was delicious. Now we're about to catch a cab to Soho and do a little bit of shopping before we go back to the house and change for whatever the night's events hold. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Now we're in Soho and we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. Walk around a little bit after leaving the button shop. So we'll take you with us. Stopped by Zara, but the line was too long, so we didn't try anything on. My friend did pick something up. Does it have the sale price on the bottom? So a sample sale for Bottega Veneta went in there, looked around, looked at some things. The prices seemed nice, but I wasn't going to buy something just because. Now these items seem to be from pre-summer or pre-fall 2020. A little bit different with a little bit funky, but it's 519. So that's too, it's like Napa and Flamingo. Like this green, if they have the green in the She said, Labor Day is basically Caribbean Pride Day.
Why do we have to call 911? Who was the hitchhiker we picked up from Canada? And what is the name of the place that TikTok told us to go eat that we thought was a dump? <laughs> One for five, three for ten. I will never buy the fruit just sitting out there. <laughs> to the city and now we're about to go hang out on Pier 17 New York City skyline there was absolutely nothing going on over here so we took in the sights chilled for a bit took a few pictures and then headed over to 235th rooftop where we could take in some spectacular views of iconic landmarks Note the people who are wearing robes. They literally took those out of those deck boxes that are lining the walkway there. No one's washing them. They're basically wearing the robes because they're cold, putting them back into the deck boxes, and then other people are coming by and taking the robes out. Ugh, a germaphobe's nightmare. <laughs>
But that's it for me for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very brief vlog. And I hope that you'll come back for more because I have tons more in store, of course. Remember to value experiences over things because travel is the only thing you buy that truly makes you richer. Ciao. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,